These are the special tools required for disassembly and assembly of the piston with connecting rod. All these tools come standard with the engine. To prevent carbon buildup on the piston crown, the cylinder liner accommodates an anti-polishing ring. Remove this ring before pulling out the piston. To do so, use a tripod extractor which can be fitted in three special grooves of the anti-polishing ring. First, try to tap the ring out of the liner using a plastic hammer. If the ring is stuck, it can be pressed out gently by turning the piston to the top dead center. When the piston is in the top dead center, the ring can be removed from the liner. Tap the two M16 threaded holes so that the lifting tool can be fitted. The cylinder liner must be free from carbon to protect the piston rings during removal of the piston. When the lifting tool has been provided, the piston can be turned to the bottom dead center. Remove on both sides of the engine the crankcase doors. Fit the jacks on either side of the connecting rod foot when the piston has reached the bottom dead center. To allow all four studs to be stretched simultaneously, three superposed jacking elements, so-called triple jacks, are used, which jointly provide the required tensile force. Note, the distance piece is provided with a pin groove at the front. Two nuts are used to secure the three triple jacks. Each jacking element comes with a separate coupling for oil supply hoses. When the hoses have been connected to the pneumatic pump, tighten the nuts with the hook spanner to prevent the jacks reaching their maximum stroke. Loosen the pulling pieces three quarters of a turn using an Allen key to prevent the connecting rod nuts from getting stuck when they are loosened. Loosen the knurled jack nuts three quarters of a turn from the bottom position. Now gradually pressurize the jacks using the pneumatic pump. When doing so, check the moment at which the nuts come loose and then slack off the nut as specified. Slowly open the return valve of the pump to release the pressure in the jacks. Check that the nuts stay loose. Remove the jacks and the connecting rod nuts. The piston with connecting rod can now be lifted from the bearing caps. Fit a plastic protecting plate to the bottom of the connecting rod foot to prevent the cylinder liner from being damaged and do this before the end penetrates the cylinder liner. Now the piston with connecting rod can be lifted out of the cylinder liner. Place the piston on a piston pedestal with the piston pressure side supported on a flat wooden base. Finally, remove the intermediate plate from the big end bearing block. 
Seal the lube oil supply ducts in the bearing block and secure fixing tools to the bearing caps if turning is required.